Yo, man, this is Practical Son, episode number three. Uh, we got an interview today. Uh, very, you know, very uh, interesting brother. Very uh, inspirational uh, brother right here, man. What's your name? Just tell people what your name is. Corey Florence, a.k.a. Okay, hey, LaCore. I appreciate you, Corey, for, uh, you know, making some time for me today. Uh, what, what's your background, man? Just tell the people what your background is. Man, uh, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, West End, man, raised, born in Carter Homes, man. 26, finna be 27, Scorpio, man. Shout out to all the Scorpios, man. So, uh, you know, the people don't know, but, you know, I, I know you personally, and I, I know that you were first incarcerated at a young age. Um, what did you first get incarcerated for, and how old were you when you first got incarcerated? Well, I was 13, first time I got locked up. JCYC for uh, trafficking marijuana. So what? I mean, what, what was it like that first time for the, for you to be that young, for you to be 13 years old? What was it like for you? Well, I was wild, so it really wasn't nothing. I felt like I was going to a jungle to another jungle for real, but it, it really wasn't nothing to boil down to. It. So uh, you know, I know you know you. So you went to jail for the first time at 13, uh, right. youth correctional, and. You know, it wasn't your last time going to jail. You went to jail uh, a couple times afterwards. Now, what was your longest time that you actually spent incarcerated in one stretch? Uh, my longest time was six years. Six years. Uh, so what what institutions uh, were you in during that, that time period? Well, it was six years. I was in uh, penitentiary, and I started off at uh, North Point. Then I went from Eastern to Western to Eddyville. And uh, Eddieville, uh, Eddieville, that's Kentucky State Penitentiary, right? Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is the craziest thing that you saw uh, during your time incarcerated? It could have been in any of these, uh, you know, any of these uh, facilities, institutions you were in. But what's the craziest thing you saw? Man, for us, ain't a lot of crazy things, man. Like one time, man, we was all in there. Everybody was in their racks. It's like three o'clock in the morning, man. And uh, you know. Dude, we heard, we heard some choking noises, like somebody's dying or something, man. And by the time the guards came up, man, dude was dead, man. Dude overdosed on some, some on something they was giving him. But then, you know, uh, when I got to Eddieville, you know, the shower house, man, you got like 40 to 60 dudes necking in the shower house doing some gay stuff, man, and it just was just foul. So, is it, I mean, what, so you said the shower house. Explain, what is the shower house for people who are not familiar with that? The shower house is like a, it's like a little building you walk into, man. It's got like six poles with like eight shower heads around every pole and you arm to arm washing up. Oh, man. That's pretty, uh, pretty crazy, man. So, uh, you know, I, of course, jail is not an easy uh, time to get through. Um, how, how did you get through your time when you was locked up, when you was incarcerated? Well, the main thing that got me through my time was God, you know, standing my Bibles, keeping the faith alive, reading my Quran, praying every day, man, and that's what got me through, for real. Working out, writing my poetry, you know, just chilling with the homies on the yard. That's about it, for real. So, uh... I heard you you mentioned your relationship with God. Um, not everybody has their relationship with God, you know. Uh, some people don't even believe in God. You know, how do you feel like your relationship with God helped you out as opposed to somebody who maybe didn't have God in their life or they, they hadn't found God just yet? Well, my relationship with God, man, basically took me out of penitentiary mentally, not physically, you know, because mm -hmm. once your mind is in there, your body's in there, basically and you get stuck up in penitentiary stuff and what you do around the yard. You see me, man, I stuck my head and my mind and my heart into the Bible, man, which kept me focused, which kept me outside on the streets the whole time I was locked up, man. I prayed every day, kept my faith, and man, everything, everything I went through, man, was a test that God sent me through, man, it was a blessing. Man, this is good, man. So, uh, you know, with that being said, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Uh, what would you like to say to the next generation? Like somebody who might be going through some things that you went through back then, you know, it might be a 13 year old boy out there that just got incarcerated, Ho hopefully not, but you know, he might have just gotten incarcerated. You know, what would you say to him coming out to make sure that he doesn't go back and make those same mistakes again? You know, what advice would you give him? 
the first thing you mean is, is stick with God first, man. Don't don't go to no streets, man. Put your heart and your things in God. Stay in school, man. Don't get caught up in this street life because it's not where it at. A lot of people can't handle jails, they can't handle penitentiary, remember? But it's bigger than that. It's better. It's about making a life for yourself. Going to college, you know, getting a job, starting a family, man, and just living life, man. Cause penitentiary, these streets, that's not that's not living it just existing. Man, you know, I appreciate your time today, man. Uh, sitting here with me, you know, we definitely gonna have you back again. I feel like you got more of a story to tell. You know, it's more to you. And right. curious to see, you know, where you, you know, where God takes you, man. Uh, shout out the channel one time, the Prodigal Son. You know, we want to get that out there and make sure we get everybody liked and subscribed to this page. Shout out to uh, Prodigal Son, man. Just, man, Prodigal Son, man, log gone, man. We gonna get back with y'all, man. Next episode, uh, we gonna we gonna have more of these interviews coming. We gonna have more, you know, inspirational men like Corey here. That's you know, went through some things in life, you know, but found God and you know stayed with him and was able to, to overcome all the obstacles through that. Project of Sun, we out.